Amen. I'm so glad. They said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you ready to pray? Are you really ready to pray this morning? I'm ever ready to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Now tonight, this morning, we want to deal with our families. Pray for the, our families and pray for every single family that you know. Hallelujah. I believe that one of the tricks of the enemy is to destroy the family. And as long as he has that power to destroy the family, he can destroy the community. When he destroys the community, he has the strength and the power again to destroy the nation. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that train up a child in the way of the Lord so that when he grows, he will not depart from it. Hallelujah. One of the reasons why we see a lot of young men and young women on the streets mercing up their life, it's because the family system has broken down. Hallelujah. And tonight we want to call upon the name of the Lord. We want to lift up prayer for the families that God will sustain us, that God will hold us in the name of Jesus Christ, that every power that is breaking the family system in this country want to come against the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, somebody. I want you to come with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 14. The book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse number 24. Isaiah 14, verse 24. The Lord of hosts had sworn, saying, Surely, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you read it again? 14, 24 to 27. Isaiah 14, verse 24. The Lord of hosts had sworn, saying, Surely, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. <coughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says that what God has put together, let no man put asunder. Hallelujah. What God has put together, let no man put asunder. Hallelujah. And so I believe that when God puts together a family, he makes sure that there is something that he has put in place to hold the family together, to bind the family together. But one of the reasons why the family system has broken down, it's because of parental control. One of the reasons why the family system has broken down is because of parental control. And I strongly believe that we cannot guarantee a better future and a better tomorrow for our children. We can never guarantee that if the family system is not held in check. So there wouldn't be a better tomorrow and we wouldn't, wouldn't have a better future for our children. Why? Because the family system has broken down. And so God holds that and God sustains us. Now this morning I want us to pray. That every power of the enemy. That is breaking down the family system. We want to come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to come against every marriage breaker. Anything that breaks marriages. Anything that is breaking our homes. Anything that is tearing apart the family. We want to come against it. Hallelujah. If the family is not being sustained. And if the family is being broken apart. Then that means that there is a certain kind of power. There is an authority. There is a mandate from the pit of hell. That is breaking down the family. And tonight or this morning. We want to come against that. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now come again with me. To, book, to the book of First Timothy chapter 3. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. First Timothy 3, 1. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Not given to wine, no striker, not greedy or filthy lux looker, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Verse 4, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. One that ruleth well 
his own house. So that means that God has in mind the family. Hallelujah. And he says that if you want to be a bishop, you must be a husband of one wife. A husband of one wife. But what are we seeing today? There are a lot of men of God that are marrying too. Supposing you walk into the church and you see the bishop has two wives. One on the left, one on the right. That doesn't sound right. Hallelujah. That is not what God is looking for. Amen. Can you finish with the verse 5 for me please? Verse 5. For if a man know not how to rule his own home, how shall he care for, how, how shall he care of the church of God? Amen. Amen. In other words, for you to be able to rule your home, you need wisdom. You need the wisdom of God to be able to rule your home. If you don't have the wisdom of God, you cannot rule your home. Because these days there are a lot of things that is going on in the family. Petty, petty issues that is breaking down the family. Why? Because we lack wisdom. And this is one of the strategies of the enemy. He's stolen that away from us. And because of that, the family system is broken down. And we are having problems. The moment you have a problem at home, you have a problem with your family, it goes a long way to affect the church. Because the church is also a family. So if you are part of the church and you are a family within the church and your family is breaking down or your family has broken down, it does affect the church as well. So this morning I want us to pray that anything that breaks family, anything that breaks the home, any power, any kind of authority that the enemy has invested into our family that is tearing up the family, we want to come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to stand to your feet. Hallelujah. This is war time. This is not the time to preach. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to close your eyes with me. You want to open your mouth and pray in the language of the spirit. Pray in the language of the spirit. Edify yourself for a while. Just edify yourself. Edify yourself. Hallelujah. 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 Mashi Gresi Prado Hondo Zehele Branda Rapata Katakari Adoshi Andea Mentele Mazokotori Adesha Imantali Mirion Tahaya Iparo di Sahaya In the name of Jesus Mantolo Mazopri Ade Lebantolo Mabaya Repete Ketain di Limi Goton di Limiria Rapata Kari Adoshiha Le Pari Adosa Taini Mandoli Masahaya Le Pari Adose in the Lemazolia Ipari Adose Lebabrondo Lobaporu Adea La Pari Adala Baparu Ade Katori Ade in the name of Jesus, Ipariato, La Pariato, La Pariato, Sidon Telemiria. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masi Atele Mazoli Brando Le Mosoya Baba. Ipariato, Sidon Telema Brando Le Mosoya Baba. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Mata Kariato, Sidon Telemiria, Tole Brando Se. Repete Le Brando Sidiria Tohaya. Itali Mata Atele Mandoli Miria Tole Mapariato.
says after me Lord of hosts Lord of hosts deliver my home deliver my home from the hands of marriage manipulators from the hands of marriage manipulators Lord of hosts Lord of hosts silence every satanic intruders in my marriage, I paralyze every satanic powers that causes hatred and hostility, militating against my home. In the name of Jesus, I pursue, I overtake, and I recover my marriage. In the name of Jesus, from marriage breakers, now lift up your voice and pray. Father, deliver us to God in the name of Jesus. Deliver us to God in the mighty name of Jesus. My marriage is stricken in age and the Lord had blessed Abraham in, in all things and Abraham said unto his elder servant in his house that ruled over all that he had put I pray thee thy hand into my under my tie and I will make thee swear by the Lord the God of heaven and the God of the earth that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell but thou shalt go unto the country and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son Isaac. And the servant said unto him, Peradventure the woman will not be willing to follow me into this land. Must I need bring thy son again into the land from whence thou cometh? Hallelujah. 
Now we want to pray for our children. Hallelujah. I believe that we need to pray for the will of God for our children. So that they wouldn't fall into wrong hands. Amen. There are a lot of people that are married today. And sometimes when there is a quarrel within the marriage. They say to their husbands or their wives. They tell, they tell them that they don't even know the reason why they got married to them. They don't even know the reason why they got married to them. You don't want your daughter to go married to somebody and wakes up in the morning and you see this man with a long white stick in his hands and he starts blowing smoke. And you might be calling 999. Hallelujah. But you have married the wrong person. We want to pray that our children will fall into the will of God. Their marriages will fall into the will of God. Their spouses will fall into the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You might not have a child now, but we need to invest prayer into their lives. Hallelujah. If you have a son, you have your daughter. We want to pray into their life. We want to pray that all our children, all their marriages will be the will of God. Hallelujah. Because if they don't fall in the will of God, it ends up coming back to the church and we have to pray. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, some of these things, God allows it to happen, but you have to face the consequences. So in order to, in order for you not to face the consequences, you have to fall in love with the will of God. So I want us to pray for our children and those that are not yet married. You want to pray that may Jehovah cause you to fall in love with the will of God. May God connect you to the man that he has ordained for you. May God connect you to the woman that he has ordained for you. Hallelujah. You want to pray lift up your voice in the name of jesus christ
chapter 1 and the verse number 10. The Bible says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That is not happening in the family. That is not happening in the family. Within the husband and the wife, people say different things. They don't have one mind. Listen, when you are together with your wife, it doesn't matter where she is. She might say something and the husband might also confirm the same thing. Even without them speaking to each other. Hallelujah. We want to pray for the families and want to pray for marriages. That husbands and wife would be one. They would have one language. They would have one mind. Hallelujah. Because if they don't have one language, if they don't speak the same language and they don't understand each other, there is always confusion. There is something you might ask my wife. When you come to me, I, must, I should be able to say the same thing to you. Hallelujah. We want to pray away confusion. Cast out confusion from marriages. Anything that causes confusion. Anything that separates people. Anything that causes us for us not to have one mind. For us not to have one language. Hallelujah. Amen. I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says that join together in the same mind. Join together in the same mind. We want to pray that we would have one mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. Amen. of student loan just student loan they are divorced the woman has packed the things left the house with the kids and they are gone so money is a major issues a major issue that is is affecting the families today we want to pray that god will prosper us financially hallelujah god will prosper us financially we want to pray for wisdom knowledge how to make wealth hallelujah not just getting the money but god should give us wisdom knowledge of how to make worth hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus christ because i believe that if this issue is being solved and money is no more a problem in the family trust me there will be happiness there will be peace at home sometimes you wake up in the morning you get so much angry nobody has said nothing to you why because you don't have money 
and your wife asks you one question and it turns into something else hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying yes you want to lift your purpose call upon the name of the lord the name. pray that may jehovah prosper us prosper every God. family may jehovah prosper us in the name of jesus suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of the womb yea thou may forget yet will I not forget thee verse 16 behold I have graven thee upon the palm of my hands thy walls are continually before me hallelujah we want to pray for our children that God should remember our children that even as they are about to go to school you want to pray that they are going out and they are coming in will be preserved hallelujah Amen. some of them are going to secondary schools we want to pray that god will protect them that they will not fall into bad companies Jeez. you want to pray that may the hand of jehovah lead them and direct them and guide them in everything that they do mm. as they go on the bus wherever they go you want to pray for divine protection over the lives of our children in the mighty name, the name of, of jesus, jesus christ, christ. lift your voice and remember pray that may jehovah remember them may god remember our children may he remember our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we bring our children before you, O God. This morning we pray in the name of Jesus. Remember them, Lord. Remember them, O God. We pray for divine protection. We pray for divine guidance, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That as they go to school, Lord, you will keep them, Lord. You will protect them, O God. You will lead them, O God. You will direct them, O God. They are going out and they are coming in, O God. Your lives are gone. Your lives are gone. Your lives are gone. Your 
the mighty name of Jesus. You want to close your eyes. The church is also a family. The church is a family. You want to pray for the church that we would love each other. As families, we would love each other. We would share with each other. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And talk to the Lord in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, to 
thank you heavenly father we thank you for our families oh god we know you've heard us lord we thank you for our marriages oh god we thank you for the restoration oh god we thank you for the life of our children oh god we thank you for the life of their spouse oh god wherever that they are lord we thank you for their lives jehovah we give a praise we give a glory oh god for our children that are going back to school we thank you for your divine protection that is upon their lives oh god we thank you you will take them and you will bring them back home safely, Lord. Father, as they walk on the streets of London, oh God, I pray the Father, you will preserve their lives, oh God. I pray that let your hand, oh God, navigate their lives in all that they do. We pray for wisdom, we pray for knowledge, we pray for understanding, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for accuracy, oh God, in everything that they do. We pray the heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for quick retentive memory, oh God. As they steady, Lord, we pray the Father, they will be above and not beneath, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, they shall be on top of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in every aspect of their lives, oh God, in all the academics, oh God, Jehovah God, I pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord, you shall bless them, Lord. Above all, you shall bless them, oh God, that they shall be a blessing unto us, oh God, in our old age, that we will sit back and we will smile and we will say, thank you, Lord, for what you have done. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. We specially invite you to worship with Global Harvest Ministries every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. We are located on the first floor, 100 to 114 Lone Pit Vale, Lewisham, London, SE 13 7SN. We are opposite SO Fuel Station. Buses 21, 321, 436, and 136 stops in front of the church. Nearest train station is Lewisham Station. We hope to see you soon. God richly bless you.